So this guy's been uh, just scoping us out. Notice her hand is clearly holding that cable. That cable did not snag her clothing as she's telling the police. Hey, he's hit, she's hitting him. So there's basically nothing I can do except yell, she's hitting him to West Coast Digital because he's not where I am. So I'm basically, you know, helpless sitting in this wheelchair and uh, there's an incline to the road. So putting two hands on the wheels and try to go up isn't going to work, especially with my camera. Even if I try to put it in my lap, I tried that and it's just not secure. So this is me, you know, just getting up out of this damn wheelchair and hobbling across the road. Get away right? from me. Are you all Get right? away from me. You don't Are care you about my right? right. I saw you assault him. You're going to jail, lady. Okay, come on. I'd like to see this. You're going to see shit when the cops Please. come. Please do. Don't touch him. I didn't touch him. Sure you did. I got it on film. He fell down. I... Keep your distance from he me. He fell down? You pushed him. Okay. Like you're in the wheelchair? Where, where are they? Got it all on film, dude. So anyway, I came back around just because when you see him, it's okay. I came back around and walked the check to make sure he's out of traffic. Well, then he moved over here, but then I saw the truckers guy going on. Oh my God, he's going to get squished. So then I didn't know that they're, I don't know what they're doing with the cameras. So I waited, and then I saw you guys pull up, and we were about to leave, and then he comes across the street, and then now they're throwing pictures in my car. What are you doing? And then he's just like, what? And he starts taking a flashlight, doing his stuff, and I'm like, hey, whoa. And it went like this. I didn't touch him. But there was like some scrappy thing. And he goes, now you assaulted me on pressing charges. I got it on video, bro, when she pushed you and grabbed you and all that, dude. Huh? I'm going to show you the video, and if I show you the video and, and you see her battering him, what are you going to do? You're going to arrest her? If I see it, I, gotta, I just if you have a video, I just like to see it. Uh, 
before, I, I just asked you a question. You All right, let me, let me get his information to call before I go that route, okay? We were doing good before this woman uh, assaulted and battered this guy. You okay? Yeah, I mean, he I just fell backwards just, and into the street. Get out the car and, and especially the old lady to come and confront somebody. I, I, like I told her, look, you don't know who I am. I could have had a gun. I could have stabbed you. She's like in my face. I'm like, dude, you don't have up. those things, do you? You know, what's up? You don't have those things, do you? No, of course <laughs> not. Of course the lady, not. the, the get lady next to the guy. That's a that's a dude. Not the next to the guy. Yeah. Why are you running my information? You said you wanted to press charges. Yeah, right? but why do you have to run? Why can't you make the report without running my information? This is ridiculous. You can. Because you, you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because you want to see if I have a record. That's why. And that'll determine where the rest of this goes. What, Sarge? Three seconds. Well, when you take a report, you have to list who the victim is. So we put out and print out a call. So, so that have, way, we, so then, so that way, when we go back to the station, it asks for the victim's information, name, address, height, weight, hair color, eye color, all kinds of stuff. So we put all that inside the call stuff. But when we get to the station, we sit down to the computer to write the report. The paper's right there, and all the info's right there, so we can just write it. Three seconds. That's all. That makes sense, right? It does, I mean, but I don't understand why you got to run my, my record, though. No, 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 we're putting the call, your DL, into the call so that all the information is in the call. That's all. So I asked this officer, uh, you're a sergeant? He asked him for him? Yeah, I, I asked uh, this officer here. Uh, he, uh, I asked him, I said, I've got the video showing which he did to him. Uh, and he says, uh, I'd like to see it. And I said, well, if I show it to you on the spot, are you going to arrest her? And he says, well, uh, let me take this information first, and then I'll get to that when I get to it. So my question is, if I show the video, are you going to arrest her? And it shows what she did? And then she got off the car. Yeah, it's going to be a private person's arrest. It'll be a citizen's arrest. They'll look at this stuff. Uh, and then it'll all be stuff that he'll document in his report that he saw the video and what he saw right. her do to right. whoever. Right, right. But you're saying it'll be and a then, private person's arrest, a yes, citizen's arrest? Yes, it's a misdemeanor committed outside of our presence. So even though it's the video, we didn't see it happen. So that's why it becomes a citizen's yeah, arrest yeah, because yeah. it's a misdemeanor. A battery is not a, in our presence. A battery is a misdemeanor outside your presence if you don't see it. Misdemeanor, yes. And this was connected here. This okay. went flat, flying down. This Thanks floor, for that explanation. And, and then I went down to pick it up. I think he's, he's like right here pulling up you know? so I'm like, right now you know, if you wanted to talk to him, I think. You said you wanted to talk to him? The sergeant? The sergeant? No, him. He asked. I asked you if you were a sergeant. Oh, me? No, no, no. I'm not a sergeant. I'm just an officer. I'm just patrol. Sorry, I have this common name and I have several reasons. Give me one and I backpedaled all the way to the gray building. And that's how far she back, she chased me. Yeah. As I was backpedaling with this. All okay. the way back there. And then she chased after you? No, and then she grabbed my stuff and she pulled this, my phone went flying, you know. So how many uh, okay. how many do we out here from the department? Two, six, eight, ten? No, that's uh like six. Six. And you're, uh, you're Officer Perez, what's uh, your badge number? 1010. 1010, 10. and you're mm -hmm. Officer? Morton, Morton, 489. 489. Yeah. So what is it, a service officer has the name and you don't? You get a badge and they have a name? I'm, gonna I'm a jailer. Oh, yeah. you're a jailer? Yeah, I'm non-sworn. You're non-sworn? Mm -hmm. So what brings you yeah. out on the call? Just out here, just... Got bored of Yeah, you. so I was uh, riding with one of these officers. We just ended up here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You guys got a call for people taking pictures and... The whole cavalry comes out. Huh? We came out here because we got a call of a battery. Oh, yeah. Right. That's why we showed up. Yeah. No, I'm saying, but earlier the other guys showed up, like three officers. I guess they called on us because we were taking pictures of. of yeah, that was uh, that was myself, the other officer, and this officer right here. That call was yeah. for what? For uh, someone taking pictures. Somebody doing a First Amendment protected activity. 
Well, security called us. They said that you were on their property. We showed up. You weren't. That's it. Right? That's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to put hands on people, man. It's bad. Yeah, I don't like putting hands on people. <laughs> no. I've had a lot of hands put on me. That's why I'm so short. <laughs> I never heard that one. It's a good one. <laughs> me being short, I gotta laugh at that one. <laughs> What's this on your lapel jacket thing there? Same thing? Oh, cool. I've never seen people wear them like that. I usually see the regular cameras, yeah, yeah. which is fine. Yeah, yeah. I just haven't seen you guys have the knuckles. So is this the most excitement for this evening? Uh, so far. So far. The night is young though, sir. Yeah. The night is young. How about you guys? This is the most excitement for tonight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. This happened right here in this parking lot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was on the sidewalk and she got out of her car and approached me. Yeah. And so I flashed my light at her, like, back up, lady, what are you doing? Back up. And she started getting closer and closer, and I started backpedaling. I got you. You know, and when I made it all the way to the building, and she was still Oh, you are going up the hill? No, oh, right there, that great building. It yeah, you are going right here, up the hill. I backpedaled all the way back to where the building starts. And she ended up pushing me off the curb when she grabbed my stuff. That's when, that's, that's when he said that I fell, but I kind of tripped over, and all my, my phone fell on the floor. And he told me to call because I'm actually in a wheelchair over there. I filmed it because I got a bum leg. But oh, you do? You okay? Can I? You want to carry me on your back? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, then why are you asking me if I'm okay? Man? I just want general general wellness of another human Thank being. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. So I hobbled over here. You said you left it over there? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, okay. okay. We film. We film every day. This is our second job. You know, it's like what we we're do, not gonna, man. This you is what know, we do. going to jail for something. <laughs> we go out, I'll tell you what we do, you know what we do? No, if you can explain, that'd be great. We go out and uh, we make sure all government officials, including yourself, public mm -hmm. servants, are mm -hmm. held accountable. Yep. Show transparency, yep. you know, we're not anti-cop. There's good and bad in every field. Yeah. But we also go out to show that we have a protected First Amendment right to film in public. Yes. And there's cameras everywhere. Yep. But you come out as an individual with a camera, people want to... It's out of the ordinary for some people. It's fine. And we try to educate them. Yeah. But it doesn't work with a lot of people. They, they want to get physical. They want to do a lot of stuff. And it's, it's ridiculous. Was everything all right when we first came out here tonight? Yeah, you when guys... When we got going out the first time, everything was cool, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was, you guys have been professional the whole way. We just want to make... Because I know we got a call from right. the first time right. to check on an individual in a wheelchair, which was, I guess, you. Really? And then you're filming on public property, or, which is fine. And then we left, and then now we're back the second time. Gotcha. Well, well the, first, the first call they got was for... Oh, was that call? The first call was... A check the welfare. Someone calling about someone checking on somebody in a wheelchair. Really? That looked like they had a flashlight or something. Um, and then after that, it was about taking pictures from the from the Chevron refinery. So this is the third this call? This is the then. third call, oh. then, yeah. <laughs> Burning up the get city gas. We uh, we just gotta go. We're told. No, I hear you. You got a call. You got to respond. So and we understand. You know, people come out and engage us, uh, security guards, but their authority lies behind their gate. Yep. So many times they want to say, "Hey, you can't film this property. It's private property, uh, and we're on public property." Yeah. You know. They don't know. No, they don't know. And we try to tell them, but then they're wasting resources. They just don't know. I know. Yeah. And that's we what had, we're trying to do. We're trying to educate them so yeah. they do know. But you know what? All they're going to do next time, they'll, they'll remember us. They'll remember us. But it'll happen again. Somebody else comes out here. Did you, were you guys here, what was it, a couple of months ago? What, at the... Uh, yeah. No, that uh, was someone else. Somebody else? Yeah, that was someone else. Somebody else came out on, I think, aviation. And they were doing the same thing you guys were doing. One like, of on the Boeing the, buildings. On the, on the sidewalk. Right over there. Filming. And they called on us because they're, the, this individual was filming like the cars going in and out of the lot and stuff. Oh, okay. Same exact thing. They're on the public property, which was fine. I did Boeing a few months ago and security guards came out, engaged me. I told them what I was doing and uh, they had to call their supervisor and that was it. And they, they understood yeah. what I was doing. We went to this one. One officer went. Kind of like the first time you were out here and then it was done. You guys got like a YouTube video. Yeah. 
I've got a channel that's called Wasting Police Officers Time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> That is funny. Uh, she seems happy all of a sudden. Yeah, but if it goes the other way around, I put a big tusk and thrown in one of those cars. I don't get it. Why does she get a pass? You know, I have no idea what's going on over there. Is it female sure. sergeant? No. I mean, not that I want to throw her in jail or nothing, dude. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even that serious about it. It's just you, like, you can have every right to talk to the, the supervisor or the officer, make them in help, and they'll clarify things for you. A lot of resources out here tonight, fellas. This is it. This is the well, city if, of El Segundo. Yeah. Mayberry. This is it. Mayberry. <laughs> Did you know they call? They used to call this Mayberry by the Sea? Yeah, Mayberry by the Sea. Well, you know the history in the days with the city. We don't allow the N word in here. Did you know that story? Right? I don't know the whole story. You know it, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of racism. A lot of racism here. If there's a radio call, we're probably going to have to leave you. So. Okay. <laughs> can't, I can't do a ride along? <laughs> no, not warrior work. my wheelchair in the back? We're a two man car, unless you want to ride in the uh, back. We're a two man car tonight, so. All right. Any kind of radio call will. Probably have to go. Alright, so when you leave, if you get a call, could you could you uh, turn on your siren for my 20,000 uh, YouTube subscribers? <laughs> hey, it was good seeing you, Phil. So you might like that, but our supervisor might not. <laughs> I'm just or Josh. Or we'll, uh, we'll, like, we'll you know, I can't hear you. What? Would you attack me? I'll let the officer hand like a, I don't want to pass anything. He'll come take a look. I was walking away. Look, I was walking away. Look, here she goes. Look. What's that, fellas? What the fuck was that? It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It didn't look good. At least we're honest. What was that, dude? Here comes. Uh, I can say it didn't look here good. Here comes the officer who didn't look good. There he is. There you go. Show him. I'm ready, dude. You guys have video? Take me, bro. I already know what He's got it. The video? Yeah, it's right here, dude. Let's watch it. Doesn't it's look good. Edward Mary Cox, 252. That is a bear. Yeah, he's 